But today I'm going up Lorimer Road and have a look for the Pretty Hill Trail. Is this Lorimer Road? I forget which one's which. The sign says Lorimer Road. That's better, less noise. There's some steep bits up here. Steep for me anyway. I used to ride along here quite a bit. Haven't been up here for a year or so I suppose. Not very fit now. I'm I'm sweating. I'm sweating like a licensed plumber at tax time. Alright, so I gotta look for a, a road or a trail off to the left. I had a look at um, the website and the council map of the trail. It was a bit of a kangaroo track off to the left. I don't think it's a, anything more than a kangaroo track. Yes, yeah, so I was looking at the map and the council and the Pretty Hill Trail just goes from um, Kangaroo Ground Road across to the old tip. So I think the old tip's now called Pretty Hill Reserve. It does sound better than the old tip, doesn't it? There's houses on the left on this bit, so it's probably not going to be here. Might just stop and have a look at their sandstone wall. Because I reckon it's pretty cool. The curved sandstone wall and the little pedestrian gate over there. Over there, boy. Pay attention. Alright. Because that was really just an excuse to have a rest. And a nice one here. I like that. I had a single gate like that once. Not sure where it went, anyway. Yes. A Volkswagen. G'day. G'day. In this trail. Get off the road. No, it didn't last long. No, well. Got a truck in there. I that's it there, that gate. I've got a feeling it was a bit of a track you could see on um, Google Maps. You could see a track that ran next to the power lines. Often there is a track along the power lines. I think it went down there. Because uh, now I'm if I go down there, I'm getting even further away from the tip. The tip's just up there around the corner. So if you get, go down and follow those power lines around, you'll get to the tip. I think that track is this one. I don't really want to 
go on private property. If it is, I don't, I don't know. I don't think this is the track either. Oh, stop for a rest. Donaldson Road, that's it. And this is the intersection. Allendale and Donaldson. Man, man, yeah. It has to be steep because uh, somebody had trouble getting up here. They must have uh, had to rev it up and drop the clutch. Surely that's what they were doing. People wouldn't be deliberately doing burnouts. Clark here. What happened here? This is the Donaldson Oak. Straight ahead goes to Warrandyte. Left goes to Kangaroo Green, where I'm going. And right goes to Research. Old uh, Valiant. What a cute little church. Presbyterian church, I think. Oh yeah, it says it right there. I'm tempted to go to the shop. This is Graham Road. And this is where the instructions I read um, said to come down Graham Road and then turn right. It's at 400 metres and then turn left and you end up on this walking track. It uh, takes you through Lorimer Road, but I bugger if I could find it from Lorimer Road end. I'll see what I can find from this end. A big joint that um, Bible translator. You wouldn't think there'd be so much money in translating Bibles, would you? Now, I would have thought that I'd be translated by now. That means not like they haven't been around for a while. Bibles, that is. Here's the old tip. Graham Road Trail. It's got another name. One kilometer. Bike. Strange looking person. Must be a Peter Garrett. And uh, horses. Yeah, cool. Well, let's go. 400 meters. It's on 9.47. So 400 meters would be about 9.8 kilometers. Z turn left. I know you can turn right down here because I've, I've done it. It comes out at um, Tangaroo Ground Road. Yeah. See, there's no left turn here. I don't know. You know, there's a fence there. I don't know. I'm starting to think it might be either an old, old news or fake news. Anyway, I'll assume it's old news for now. I'll go. So this is the Graham Road Trail or Pretty Hill Trail. This is the 400 meter mark. Not really a track here. 
don't know. In fact, reasonably well worn, so some people obviously use it. I can't say I would be using it that much, it doesn't really go anywhere. I don't want to say it's uh, boring, but it's really not overly exciting either. A little bit. I think most people would have to walk up there. Oh, including me. Trouble with this uh, gravelly surface. You go too slow and get a bit out of shape, you lose traction and um, fall off. See those kangaroos? My international viewers might find them exciting. Probably not so much the local people. They're nice to see. Not really a novelty. I hope I don't scare them and they hop onto the road. That's my concern. There's some on the left. Yeah, hopefully they stay um, in the paddock. Don't go on across the road. You'll see in a minute there's got a busy road up here. It used to be a very quiet road. Not that long ago actually. Now it's uh, very busy. All those ones have gone around, gone back, back down, which is good. I don't think I'm going to scare them onto the road. I might try and get on here and ride, just in case one of my mates is riding, driving along the road. Can't have them see me pushing my bike. Yeah, it's too embarrassing. I'll start. <laughs> too easy. The great man would say. So that's a steep little pinch that bit. Obviously it's easy going down and up, but you could quite easily um, have a nasty stack going down if you weren't paying attention. This is where it comes out. I'm going to turn right. I'm going to wait for the cars to... Alright, let's 
can get a granny gate. 